Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing with Flair. Today I'm going to show you how to use this. This is my homemade lure retriever. Um, I'll put a link at the end of the video of how to make this. If you guys haven't seen this, uh, I'm assuming a lot of you have. But uh, I'll put a link in there if you guys haven't seen how to make this. It retrieves, it retrieves crankbaits, but it also retrieves like jigs or spinnerbaits or anything. If anything gets snagged, this can take care of it. Uh, so I'll, I'll put a link in there. And uh, so today I was going to show you a video. Uh how to use this because I've shown you how to make it and I'll show you how to use it and I uh, I already made this I already made the video and I'm just gonna put this in front of it um, it there's snow on the ground right now and it's really cold outside but I decided to do this since I need to help out my subscribers that really want to like figure out how to use this so I made it it's kinda bad we had to make our own brush pile out of some sticks and we had to manually like hook a crankbait but uh, it should give you the general idea of how to use this so um, stay tuned for that, but right now I'm just going to ask you guys if you would comment on this video, just comment down below, comment uh, any question about me, uh, my favorite frogs, my favorite jays, my, my favorite soft plastics, crankbaits, rods, reels, line. Um, it doesn't even have to be about fishing, it can be about hunting, outdoors, or just any personal questions. Uh, comment them below because maybe in like a weekish, when I get like 15 to 20 questions all put together, um, I'm going to make a video answering them. So go ahead and comment right now, uh, before the video starts, comment right now and just uh, come up with a question. If you want to know what my favorite frogs are, comment it. And in my next video or one of my next videos coming up next week, uh, it'll be answered. Or my favorite colors of frogs, or my favorite colors of soft plastics, or what my favorite craws, or what my favorite flipping bait is. Anything, just comment it and uh, I'm going to make a, your guys' questions into a video and I'll answer them. So comment anything, anything you've been wanting to ask. You can ask more than one question if you want, that's fine. Uh, just comment at least one question, please, just so I can make the video, and that would help a lot. So right now, stay tuned uh, for a, a video of how to use this, and it starts right now. Hey guys, this is Andrew here with another episode of Fishing with Flair today. Uh, you guys have probably seen my video of this. It's how to retrieve lures, and today I'm going to show you. It's snowing right now, and that's our homemade brush pile. And we have a we have a strike king crankbait tied on there. And I'm gonna show you. This. Okay, so when we get this. This is the hound dog. You have to need something else. Okay. So get your line. I got like 12 pound fluorocarbon. So when you get your line, you have to go from behind. Sorry. You have to stick it in behind, and then you stick the line under. Oh my goodness. Okay. There. And then back through the other side. So it's like that. See that's in there like a basketball, rigging a basketball net. Okay, so that's that. And then what you do is you get your pole. Okay. So now, like this is a scenario, like you're on the bank or uh, it's easier if you're on the boat, but you can see my crankbait over there. See my crankbait over there? And my line. So I see I'm jerking it, watch the crankbait, I'm jerking it and it's not coming out. So this is what you do. You reel up the line fairly tight. You hold your rods as high as you can. It's kind of hard because there's trees. I'm sorry, I'm going to reel up some more. And you hold your rod tip as high as you can and you throw this. So I'm going to have my cameraman come hold my rod. Come hold my rod. This, if you're on the boat, you don't need anyone to hold it, but it, just for today, it's kind of hard. Okay, so... A second, I gotta reel up some more. Okay, so now, once the line's tight, hold the rod to as high as you can, and you just throw this. Just like that. So now, your crankbait comes back, and it's, you can see, it's it was attached to this, and that gets your crankbait out. And then you just reel this in, and your crankbait will be attached and it'll get your crankbait out. So that's how you uh, unsnag a crankbait. Uh, in the water, usually the sticks don't like explode like that, but it just bu it just bumps it off. But that was just kind of a short explanation of how to use this. Uh, next time you go out, especially when you're fishing crankbaits, use this technique and uh, you'll save some crankbaits. Thanks for watching.